Three now, as people get ready for the boating season, state lawmakers are focusing on those who operate the water vessels. Yeah, they say that there's just too many accidents mm -hmm. on the state's waterways. Fox Carolina's Myra Ruiz joins us now live in the studio with how they plan to address this. Myra. Good morning. Well, state lawmakers say the number of boating accidents has actually increased over the past five years with 22 people dying last year compared to 15 in 2018. And according to the Department of Natural Resources, speed, operator inexperience and operator inattention are the leading factors for accidents. Right now, boater education is only required for people under the age of 16. But the bill before lawmakers would require anyone born on or after July 1st, 2007 to take a boating safety course before operating a water vessel by themselves. But legislators are still working out the details of possible penalties. We have accidents every year on rivers, and we have accidents every year at Lake Hartwell, Lake Kiwi, Lake Joe Cassie. So public safety and protecting South Carolinians is a top job of government. Anytime that you uh, impose any type of law, uh, there's always uh, criminal penalties or civil penalties that go along with it, and that is generally where we disagree at. The bill requires a six hour course to receive a permanent boating safety certificate from the DNR. People who plan to rent a water vessel would take a shorter course for a certificate that would expire after 30 days. South Carolina has about 460,000 acres of lakes, 8,000 miles of rivers and 3,000 miles of coastline where boating accidents can happen. In the studio, Myra Ruiz, Fox Carolina News.